Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Night in the Woods. As always, I'm Olive Branch, and I'm joined by my good friend Maple Leaf. Maple Leaf, how do you think the party is gonna go tonight? Well, the game is called Night in the Woods, and if uh, the party is in the woods, I would have to say that, like, in order for the game to progress, something, or rather, if, in order for the game to, like, live up to its title, something probably, I don't want to say extreme, but something is gonna happen. I mean, we did find yeah. the severed arm earlier. For sure. And right now, if you guys don't remember what we're up to, we're gonna go ask B over here for a ride because apparently that's all she's good for. She's in the middle of a conversation with a customer. In the family hardware store. All right then. So we have an option. What was that all about? We should probably just be non-confrontational. Be uh, our, re our relationship with B seems pretty strenuous right now. Yeah, well, it's more she as being the one who's kind of dismissive of us. Like, we're trying to be nice. We're even the ones that I don't think she likes us, whereas B is just, like, dismissive. That's all she is. Um, I don't know. I get, I'm getting the sense that uh, there's, like, some kind of animosity going on between us. I, us as in Oh, yeah, for B. sure. Also, B was talking about how she has to hire some dudes to, br to, to unload rock salt. I had to do that for my ex-girlfriend's store. It's not a job that I wish on anyone because it sucks. I, uh, uh, I used to live boxes for a living, so yeah, that's not fun. So now what party are we going to? Well, B's just being the sarcastic one. What party could we possibly be referring to? Because there's so many of them. Are you being sarcastic? No, no, she's not. She'll drive. She's cool. <laughs> Great, That's thanks. responsible of her. What's that? That's very responsible of her. Yeah, she's the one who's definitely going to be the DD of the group, even though she looks very gothic. I mean, I, I don't know which, what style she's wearing, but she looks gothic. I don't know. Being gothic doesn't necessarily mean anything regarding whether or not you drink or do drugs or whatever, even though I see a cigarette in her mouth. I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because she, she looks like she's kind of, she's like, a, ugh, I'm, I don't even care kind of thing. Mm. And there she is. Beatrice Santello. Beatrice Santello. Maybe. Maybe. Because it's May and B. A huge freaking eye of hers. She does have a very large eye. Not particularly conducive towards alligators. You know, if you ever find yourself in the jaws of an alligator, best way to get out is to jam your thumbs in its eye. Oh yeah, I think any animal, even when you're being attacked by a shark, you just punch him in the eye, not the gills. So right now, uh, we're just going to go see if uh, Angus and Greg have anything to say because B said yes. So did we go inform them or did he just know telepathically? He has no opinion one way or the Angus other. Angus is at work, dude. He can't just talk with us all the time. I mean, he can. He could, but he won't. Social Security Administration. You do your taxes yet? Not yet. It's uh, March 6th. I haven't done it yet because I'm still trying to see what my, if my, I have to use my accountant this year. Hire an accountant to do all the shitty self-employed work. When are taxes due? Pretty sure that in, for at least in Canada, they're due at the end of March. You have to at least around May. I know in the United States it's like middle May or whatever. Hmm. But I think in Canada it's like by the end of March, they would rather have their money in sooner rather than later. Alright, fair enough. So, since Angus and uh, Greg have nothing else to say, we're just gonna head on home and get ready. Because, uh, B said, be ready by 8.30 or you're not coming. Look at that stride. Yeah, May's very, got a very long stride. She's a good jogger. She's hustling. She is. She must do it a lot. Well, she is a cat. She's got crazy ups. She's a good jogger. Not to be stereotypical, but there you go. I wonder how good her reflexes are. Eh. Honestly, we'll find out soon, I guess. I mean, like... I mean, I imagine this game has a lot of, like, uh, you know... Like, you saw my reflexes in playing that freaking song. Yeah. But that was... That was more... <laughs> that was more because my fingers were on the wrong... On the wrong numbers, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I was about to say, it was also because, uh... You... You played it wrong. Oh. It's Ant Mall Cop. Aunt Molly. Small cop. Are they actually related? 
I believe they are. I mean, they're both cats, and even though May doesn't that's have the racist. That's <laughs> I. All cats know every other cat, right? But they call her Aunt Molly. She must be related. All cats are related. Yeah. They all look the same. So now May, now Molly's trying to uh, let us know. Hey, sometimes shit happens. Okay. Is that a threat? I don't believe it is. Never see something like what you saw the other night. Hmm. Oh yeah, the severed arm. Oh wow. Oh, that's aggressive. Yeah, folks like you seems they're both aggressive answers, but I think folks like you is a bit less accusatory. Cause like, what yeah, do you mean? Yeah, I think it's a little less confrontational. I mean, like it's confrontational, but you're a kid and you're naive. How old is May again? She's twenty. Twenty. By the way, I just realized May's house has a star on top of it. Yeah, and? I think that's just to indicate this is your house, May. But I wonder why why those why have a star. Alright, yeah. I, I can see that. I can see that being like a good uh, design decision. Like, oh, a way to separate your house from all the other houses. Yeah. Also, the cops telling us to watch ourselves because all it takes is to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like finding a severed arm on the street. Yeah. And that is... that's ominous. <laughs> Good night, Molly. Alright. Aunt Mall Cop. So that was the me. first thing she got out of it. She's like, oh, be careful. No, that she's, she wants to kill me. <laughs> ACAB. -A 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 -B. I wonder if that's code for something. Mm. Well, we got no time for that. We gotta go see the fam. Hey fam. What is up? Hey, the parents. I made tacos. Excuse me, we made tacos. Tacos? Metal Gear? Like, like a good husband and wife should. Do you want tacos? Okay. What kind of question okay. is that? Of course we want tacos. No, 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 no. I'm not going to snack it up. I want tacos every day, all day. Are they are they soft shell or hard shell? Oh yeah, hard shell's the worst. Soft shell's the true taco. Hard shell, you bite into a hard shell. Like, I have tacos occasionally, and they come with both hard shell and soft shell, and I eat both. But the problem with hard shell is that you bite into it, and then like, sometimes the shell it like just turn just the wrong way, and then like a sharp edge of it goes into the roof of your mouth. Oh yeah. And May, May, here, May has the right idea here. She wants everything on her taco. That's the only way to eat a taco. You slather on everything on that bad boy. I don't know. That makes it that makes it difficult to eat. Tacos are already hard to eat. Oh, yeah. shell or hard shell. But that's why you just stuff your face. It's go time. Make sure you don't look like a cave beast. But you know what? Before we do that, let's check the computer. No sleep. Party time. Gotta get ready. Like I said... No time to check ourselves out. Let's get to that computer. Let's just play some Demon Tower instead of getting ready. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you don't want to fuck around. Be, uh, she told you, be ready or else. Textbooks and tinfoil. What, what, what kind of tip is that? It's a tip? I mean, do you, is, there, is there a reason not to? I don't know. Oh my god, party time. Are you ready, B? Are you ready? Are you ready? You ready to rock? Oh, maybe I should get ready. <laughs> yeah, maybe. All right. What about you, Greg? What do you got to say? No, no, I'm oh, not going to get ready yet. I'm not going to get ready. Fuck Greg. No, no, let's get ready. Let's just talk a little bit more. How could you forget? Yeah, I haven't forgotten yet, Greg. Oh, what are you doing on your laptop? Get ready already. Yeah, geez, okay, god damn. He might be on his yeah, phone. smiley face. I never use phone... <laughs> Hello. I never use my phone to chat. What do you use your phone no, for? No, I'm sorry, I never use the phone I mean, to you're chat... definitely not to call no, people. No, no, I never <laughs> use it to chat with, uh, with Facebook. I use it WhatsApp and whatever. Anyway, what do we look like? How are we All looking? Right. 
She looks like We're a cat. All right. This shirt accentuates my <laughs> roundness. I'm fat. I have the worst face. I have a nightmare. I no, I think being like, are we going to be like, talk about our body or our face? Let's go with our body. Let's go with our body. I mean, round is a shape. You're in shape. I think the round zero doesn't help. Yeah, mate. That's because you don't wear shapes. It's cool, dude. Round is okay. I have to stop liter eating literally everything I say. No, let's be let's be positive about well, this. We're like, we're cool. Round is cool. I don't know. Being being hard on yourself is the best there way go, to self improvement. At least nah, that's but we're a real life person. We're body positive, and no one can prove I'm not a real person. Fuck yeah, May. You can do this. People like you. People don't like you clearly. Oh, we're having a little ink, bad angel, good Ooh. angel. You don't like people. You don't like people. Oh, Ooh. Well, no, I mean these are both these are both bad angels. Self hating or misanthropic. I think being misanthropic is a little less a little less of a problem. I'm gonna go with you don't like people, clearly. This is something that you are criticizing yourself over and something that you can work on. But if people don't like you, I mean there's a bunch of reasons why a person might not like you, and it's kind of difficult to find out which one it is. Uh, short of just straight up saying, why don't you like me? But then, you know, that comes off as kind of beggish. Yeah. But there you go. You said that uh, You said that earlier you were taking a personality test. What, what is she? She's like an, in, like an interpersonal whatever. I don't recall saying this. No, no. I mean, I'm saying you were earlier, like f some months ago, you were talking about taking an online test and you were a personality oh. test. And May, oh, yeah. May's personality is just like, yeah. I hate being with people unless they already like me. I don't, I would have no idea. She would need to take a test like that. There we go. He's probably up at school or whatever. Cole. Prom was a mistake. Was a mistake. Um, we're not over this guy, but I think, like, this is just, like, uh, education. But the other one is like, oh, we're more focusing on the past. And I think the past is more to focus on. Prom was a mistake. How was your prom? I went stag. You went stag. Careful not touching those smooches. My prom was alright, but I think uh, the spring homecoming was more fun. I'm glad I'm not a teenager anymore. My breath tastes like tacos. This is a disaster. Uh, you just look like total garbage. Time to go to the party. But she's a smooth talker. Brushing your teeth? Hi, I'm May. How's it going? Hey, I'm May. What's your name? Or hi, I dropped I'm May. I dropped out of college. <laughs> okay. Um, what was the first option? I think it's just uh, I'm May. How's it going? The other second one is I'm May. What's your going? name? I think we should go with the second one. This is, like I know that we're doing post commentary now, and that I don't have any say in the matter. So it's good that you chose the second one. Yeah. I think the second one is more. Um, it's more introductory, and people like it when you introduce themselves and they ask you to introduce yourself. For sure. Rather than, yeah, rather than, hi, this is my name, I don't care what your name is. Well, May doesn't, May doesn't give a shit, she thinks it's hopeless. She's like, ugh, fuck it, whatever, I'm a trash. I'm literal trash. It's 8.30, May. She could maybe stand to put on a different shirt. Yeah. It's, it's, her, it's her color scheme, dude. She makes her own luck with a luck machine. Fuck yeah. Very bold colors. The party. What are your favorite colors to wear? Purple. Purple to wear? Oh, uh, to wear? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, still purple. Uh, my favorite shirt is a purple t-shirt with a collar. I don't like bright colors myself. Um, Cole might be there. Uh, sorry. Um... I actually prefer bright colors. I'm, like, my entire wardrobe is pretty much all dark colors, but that's just because they all fit me. And uh, I have neither the money nor the inclination to go out and buy brighter shirts. Yeah, B's like, I don't even know this whole drama business. I wonder if that means that May and B broke up their friendship, if they were friends, before high school. Let's stop talking about this and just get to the frickin' party already. Okie doke. You ready for a wet and wild party out in the woods out in the middle of the night? I think it'll be less wet and more wild. Because, I mean, it's the woods. I mean, what are you going to do, jump in the river? What's wrong with being wet? Ugh. That was awful. 
What was that? I hate beer. I think beer. So she just has to chug one down because... Ugh. Yeah, I hate beer too. I'm more of a rum and coke kind of guy. I don't know. I don't mind beer as long as the beer is tasty. Very hoppy beer like IPAs and stuff like that. They're just too much for me. I, I prefer like smoother beers. May should not have another one. She's smart. May, how much do you think she weighs? She's what, 20 like years old. 100 pounds she, maybe? She's 20 years old. She's a cat. And let's be generous and say that oh. he's pretty... He's pretty tall. Uh, let's be generous and say that May is, let's say, five foot five, which is pretty tall for a cat person. So she's got to weigh maybe a little over a hundred pounds, maybe. Mm. Oh God! She'd be able to hold hold her liquor all that well. It's cold. Sit in the fire. Let's just stare at the fire for a while. Do we know that it's cold? We know it's cold because she's like, oh God, it's, and then. Uh, that could mean nothing. Or that could mean something else. Sup, dudes? See, Cole's here? Alright. Oh, then. God. Yeah, I guess that's cool. Oh, God, no. Not cool. But I'm fine. I'm cool. I'm totally fine. Are we gonna talk to him? Uh -huh. No. Yeah, sure. No, you know what? I think we should talk to him because the past is the past, right? She does seem to have a couple hang-ups about Cole. It might be better to... Uh, maybe not confront, that's a bit of a strong word, but maybe uh, just, I don't know, talk through your uh, your hang-ups, your differences. I mean, she's clearly got something against Cole. It's like, I don't know, just maybe a rough breakup or whatever. But uh, it's better to get closure. There's, the, there's, there's a reason. Go get Dead Angel Face, that's closure already. You make a song calling a dude go get uh, angel face, but you call him to die. That's yeah. But we don't talk about that. Oh, he's Cole's good looking. He's playing the douchebag hits. What do you consider a douchebag hit? I know I actually like Oasis sometimes, but there's very douchebags, very douchebag hitty. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't really listen to a whole lot of like rock music or anything like that. I wouldn't really know anything that's like a douchebag hit that a guitarist could play. Seems pretty uh, gross and rude to just call a guy that's playing an acoustic guitar a douchebag, though. No, no, because, see, it's a douchebag hit because that's why. Because you're trying to look all sensitive. You're trying, oh, I'm so, uh. And then <laughs> Angus is like, why is this a douchebag song? I like this song. Why is it a douchebag song? Well, sorry, Angus. It kind of is a douchebag song. Anyway. Oh, you hear that? That's... Crying? Sobbing? I don't know. Moaning? Whatever. What's up, Cole? Hey, sexy. Maybe, Maybe I need another drink. Oh. Uh... Okay. Well. That's mistake number one. But there's no way around right, it, I guess. It. Let's down that sucker. Go for it, man. What better way to confront the demons of your past than completely smashed? Hey, it's called liquid courage for a reason. Oh, there you go. Ma doing beer is like doing taxes. There you go. That, that's May's way of... Yeah, let's not drink again. Let's go talk to Cole. No, not yet. Yo. You're kind of grouchy. Did you know that? May is kind of an honest drunk, I suppose. You know, I'm... What kind of drunk are you? Uh, me, I'm very talkative. I say the word listen a whole lot, especially if I'm trying to talk and then someone else is trying to talk over me. I'm, I guess I'm an aggressive talker. And you're like, shh, 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 listen, yeah. listen. Yeah, like, <laughs> like I'm trying to say something. Now it's my turn to talk. Um, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'm honest or more honest than I am, but I'm definitely a whole lot more thick-skinned. Like, if someone says shit about me, it's just like, yeah, well, I'm drunk, I can take it. <laughs> I, I'm more of a uh, I'm more of a jokey, f laughy kind of drunk. F the world, man. F it. Someone really should just f the world already. Well, you know, politics jokes. Yeah, politics jokes. F and right. The world's too f and uneft. Something in the woods, like the night. 
two people are making out. Oh, that's what that noise uh, they're was. Out. They're getting it on. Who needs comfort when you have makeouts? We have both. In a perfect world, Angus. You take what you can get. No, I'm usually pretty comfortable when I'm making out with someone. They sure are. You guys want to stand somewhere else? No, maybe? No, nah, dude. No, they're into it. <laughs> Why should we move? We like it. We are gentlemen. That's why we're going to stand here and listen to them. <laughs> we're here to listen to them and to just be like, they're the indecent ones. We're not going to let it bother us. I don't drink much. I only had one beer before. It too. So May's definitely not a drinker. Yeah, that's what you spit it out. Words of wisdom, guys. If you don't drink, or if you drink little, don't pull a maid. Don't say, nah, man, I'm cool. And then just chug them? Yeah, well, there you go. Or at least have friends like these guys. We'll watch you. We'll watch you make sure, like, chaperone hawks. May appreciates it. Thanks, dudes. You know, I've gotten drunk maybe a dozen, two dozen times in my life. I'm not much of a drinker. I'm a social drinker. I only drink at parties. Um... Not once in my life have I ever been hungover. That's good. I've been I've never been hungover either. I mean I've gotten sick before, but never hungover, which is nice. Oh. There we go. Is that Yume? I think I know you from somewhere. Yeah, high school. Probably when we were lovers. Oh, she's reciting what she practiced in the mirror. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I guess. And we beat up that street gang. Oh yeah. They played River City Ransom. With chains and garbage cans. Good times, May. Good times. I don't know if Cole's playing this smoothly or if uh, he's being oblivious or if he's more okay with the breakup than she is. May's definitely not okay because she's like, just what the hell is your problem when he mentioned when I'm with my girlfriend at school? One of those two words. Oh, God, another one. Great. And she needs she needs more. She, she needs, needs more liquid more. courage. More. She hears the word school, she hears the words girlfriend coming from her ex, and she's just like, ugh, I can't deal. I need to deaden the pain. Screw it, I'm doing two beers. She's shotgunning two beers. I'm doing beer. I still taste tacos. Just talking to ourselves. B's got a very large eye. It must be difficult to like get around, considering you have to constantly face profile in order to look ahead. It's kind of fucked up. Although she does have like great control over her eye. Maybe her vision is a whole lot better than I think it is. That's why she's not wearing glasses like that pig over there, or the goat. So May's already smashed, and uh, B's are DD, so... Here where I live, I don't know if this is a thing in Montreal, but here where I live, if you go to a bar, and we have a lot of bars in where I live, if you go to a bar and you say that you're the DD, you usually get a discount on non-alcoholic drinks like Coke. I don't think Montreal has that. Aw, oh, man. I think it's because Montreal is more of like, hey, we have tons of bars, whereas Halifax is more like, hey, we're chill. Oh. Okay, man. No, well, Halifax, Halifax has the most bars per capita in the world. Maybe maybe that's the, maybe that's the intelligent thing to do then, or maybe not bars, but like legal drinking establishments. They serve alcohol. Hey, Greg! G -g 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 Whoa, dude! Do you think the people making out on that rock? On on that uh, rock, uh, uh, met up there yeah. because there's a porn log. G -g -g -g. Oh my god! I bet there is. <laughs> Greg's cool with it. See, it's a log. It's a log. Where you draw the, where you draw porn on it like a caveman. I don't believe you draw porn. You just leave porn stashed in there. How old are we talking? That sounds like a terrible idea. Like, what if it rains? Well, what if it snows? That's when you cover what it if, up, dude. Friggin', what if an animal finds it? And then, even if you do cover it up in like moss or dirt or whatever, it's covered in dirt. Well, you know, you're not really there to appreciate the aesthetic. You're there to beat one out. Hey Angie, my dad knows your dad. <laughs> this is an awful long way to go just to rub one out. I don't know, dude. 
apparently, according to someone on SA, Fish something, I forgot your name, dude, I'm sorry, he says that there is a thread on something awful about porn logs. And it's Goldmine. <laughs> Don't ever say daddy again. Psst. No, I'll say daddy as much as I like. My dad had to stop drinking. Because he was... Danger to me and my mom. Ha 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 ha. Okay, May. Oh, all right. Time to time to time to talk yeah. to someone. Jesus. May is not only honest; she's revel revelatory. Yeah, we're not allowed to drink anymore ever. Chaperone Hawks. Come on, dudes. Failed at being chaperone Hawks. Someday, bug. Well, Someday. I don't know. I'm like it's a fine line, I guess, between being a chaperone hawk, like these guys are saying, and just what May's limit is, because she has had four beers and already she's at this point. Like if I were being, like if you were chaperoning me and I had four beers, would you immediately cut me off? Yeah, you know it is a tough call to be like, how much liberty or how much reigning in do we put in? But they're, they're saying yeah. sit down by the fire and chill. That's probably what I would do, and if I were chaperoning you, I suppose. But no, you know what? Let's talk to Cole. No? Let's sit in the woods? No, 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 no. Let's talk to Cole. I know. I don't know if I can do this. Okay, then. Alright, then. Well, that answers that. Yeah, let's just sit Real down. Railroading. It's okay. We'll have to sit down, let the beers kind of wear off a little bit. That guy's been tuning his guitar for like five minutes. Yeah. Hey, May. Hey, Coolio. And the gang. It's been like three years. Yeah, May's already slurring. Those beers are hitting her hard. I think Cole is the only one. Cole, Angus, Greg, and B are the only ones who actually like May. Because everybody else was like, oh god, like when we talked, we never even kissed. Yeah, see, May's got, still hung up, but that pig or that goat that B was talking to, mm. when she said, remember May Borowski, he was just like, oh god. Well, May does apparently have a history of violence. Yeah, and you know, there she goes. I don't even care. We don't even kiss. The girl at the video store is all like, ooh, ooh, cute boys. And you're a cute boy, Cole. That's very flattering. Oh, there you go. But I hate cute people. <laughs> cute is the worst. <laughs> Cole should retaliate and say, well, you're cute. And well, what's she going to say? And it's not my fault. I'm a total trash fire. She says, standing up on the log. I got nightmare eyes. That was one of the options when she was talking in the mirror. And the last thing you see is my eyes outside the window and I stab you with my knife. Stab, stab, stab. All right, May, chill. Yeah, this is, yeah, getting a little intense. I mean, you've only had four beers and now I'm kind of worried that you might- Three, actually. In. Three beers? Nightmare I thought she had, I thought she had one and then one and then two. I think she said I'm doing two when she said one after the first one. Don't F with me, kid. F well, in any, case, in, in any case, I'm kind of like, yeah, B's got the right idea. She's threatening people now. Just the way how she's standing and that the uh, coal is between her and the fire, I'm kind of worried that she might push him. <laughs> F college. I'm being body positive. Greg, stop enabling her. All those, those rich, rich kids. kids and hot people are writing sex and having papers with each other. <laughs> uh, can confirm. And that damn statue pointing at me every day is supposed to be the founder. But it's just, it just shapes. shapes. I... I'm a total trash mammal. Wow, May. Well, feral cats. And nothing is ever going to work out. We never had a chance here. But I can't go anywhere else. Oh, That's just sad, man. Stuck S in her town. Stuck in a rut. I'm home again. And I can do something besides sleep. I wonder if she just slept at college and cry alone. Yeah, I think this, she's revealing herself about her college life. She was depressed as shit. And she just stayed there and slept? Because things are just things here. You know, if, you know, first year of college, I did get depressed and I just basically didn't go to class for like two months. That's I'm what you did? Yeah. I'm so sick to death. Does that make sense, Colio? Oh, Cole, you did nothing wrong, dude. 
I think. I mean, like, yeah, she he just came to a party. Home again. Woo! Wow! Oh. Oh. Oh, great. There you go. That's May. attractive. Tacos. There you go. Well, we had we had fun at a party. We embarrassed ourselves. For real, my goodness! But oh man, May. There's B being a good person. I owe you an apology, B. I really am quite embarrassed. I think we owe her the apology. We embarrassed everybody. Yeah. We, yeah well, yeah. She sh she really should be sorry, saying sorry to everyone, and B is a good. I'm guy, sorry, but it all happened. Wow. Okay, so in her thoughts, she's being very co coherent. But, <laughs> but in her speaking. Remember when we used to be best friends? I remember when we hung out as kids. No, we were best friends. Let's let's get more deets out of that, huh? Were we best friends? I do. I mean, I am interested in her relationship with B. We used to be best friends, B, and I still love you, B. Is she somehow more drunk? I didn't get a word of that. Remember, you used to call me Mayday, and I called you B. B. <laughs> Oh, you mean when we were like 10? Jeez. No, I uh, don't. What is the what is the uh, what is the average lifespan of an alligator? Remember when we were scouts together and we caught that turtle? Oh, so that's why she did the turtle in the notebook. Box you the turtle, he died. Oh, well thanks. Why are you so mean to me? I feel like you're mean like the other time. Why? Uh the first one the first one is I think they both accomplished the same thing. They both like will ultimately come to the same answer. But the first one but is the really second accusatory. One, yeah, the second one is saying, "I feel like you're doing this." It gives the person an out. Why are you so mad at me all the time? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, if I can hear your parents, they're gonna be so mad at me. Tell your mom I'm sorry, okay? She's so nice. They did drunk talk really well. God damn it, May. You think? I don't, I don't know. This is not how I talk when I'm drunk. My mother is dead. Ooh. Whoa. What? She died. How long ago? Of cancer. Senior, Senior year. year. So Whoa. like only like two or three years ago then. Oh no, she was so nice. BB, are you okay? I don't know. Like, this doesn't seem like this doesn't seem like a good topic, especially when you're. Especially when you're as drunk as May is. Did you forget about my dead mom? I wonder if this is why... Uh, hang on, this is a terrible loss of memory, B. I'm so sorry. I'm mortified by my behavior. I am sorry. No, this is a terrible loss of memory. We can't... How can we forget this shit? Hmm. I don't like remember anything sometimes. Oh, that's actually, not a good excuse. Actually, it might be... Don't take it personally. Oh, my God. That's the worst. It might be... Uh... You know, so far this story has been about May's uh, desire to go back to how things were and how, like, she doesn't want to grow up. She's not an adult or she's not ready to be an adult. And just not being able to cope with her best friends or her ex-best friends' parents' death might be a part of that. Look, uh, God, well, now, now B's just attacking us. But I was going to say, remember earlier when we were in the car for the first time and we said, why are you working at your parents' store? And it's like, life happens. It's like, what, your parents are not cool with it? And she just stopped the car and said, get out. Mm. I wonder if that was like a hint that something was up. And now we find out. Now she's saying to us, you know, how could you give up college? You know, what you, what happened to you? Oh. Oh, May. Get the hell out of my car. All right, then. Ah! Jeez. <laughs> that cat is panicking. Oh, God, let me help you in. Oh. We really fucked things up. Yeah, well, B is still trying to be a good person. She's doing the I right mean, thing. Yeah, she's she didn't have to help us into our into our home, and into our bed apparently. There you go. I'm sorry, B. I'm a mess. At least she recognized it. First step, first step of knowing when you have yeah, to improve. Not acceptance. What is it? You know, whatever. It's not your fault. What is the first step? Acceptance is the last step. No, no, I think it's understanding there's a problem is the first step. You're just a uh, kid. Understanding. Okay. I'm older than you, two months. Yeah, but age, like physical age, that's different. Yeah, well, I stayed here and got older. 
while you went off and stayed the same. Ouch. She's already out like a light. Yeah. Good night, Mayday. Thanks, B. Oh, that's that's cute. Like B still. She kind of misses it too. Otherwise, she wouldn't have called her Mayday. <laughs>